<laughs> hey, we're Bailey Lynette, Prepping on a Budget. I don't know exactly why I'm so uh, security focused this week, but I am. So this is security part number two. <laughs> Talking about your children. You know, as a parent, um, we're always concerned about our kids. It doesn't matter how old they ever get. You're, you're concerned about their well-being. You're concerned about their security. You're concerned about everything that involves them because they are an extension of the parents, of course. Many years ago, when my kids were probably five and seven years old, I taught them a password. And I did that because this was long before you know, the daycares were secured and you know, cameras and all this stuff. But I taught them this password and I always told them, if anybody comes to you, for you on my behalf, then ask them for the password. And it wasn't just two or three years later. I had to send one of the ladies that worked for me at the time to go pick them up at daycare. And I told the lady that was going for them, I said, they're going to ask you for a password. Here's the password. She was a very trusted friend of mine. So I didn't have a problem giving her the password. And sure enough, both kids asked her, what's a password? Flash forward about 15, 17 years. The other night, my daughter, who is a senior in college and lives the farthest away, um, I was trying to get in touch with her. Well, nowadays, because, you know, we text message so much, you know, kids would rather text us than talk to us. Um, when I sent her the text message asking, you know, hey, what's going on? Are you all right? Um, you know, what's happening down there? And then I, I put on the end of the message, I said, please respond with password. Now, we've not mentioned this password in, gosh, I guess probably eight, nine, ten years. And she texts me back and she said, Mom, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Just been busy. Uh, I think the password is, and she nailed it right on the head. Now, all those years, we had not even mentioned it, but I, I pounded it into their heads when they were small what the password was. Now, that seems very insignificant, I'm sure, but when I saw that, yeah, I knew that it was her that had control over her telephone, everything was okay, and that it was her. Now, some people will say, but wait a minute, Lynette, um, maybe somebody had a gun pointed to her head, and they read the message, and they made her, you know, type that in. This is true, but there's also two other characters now, because we have moved into a more of a technology kind of situation. There's two characters that she puts at every end of her text. If those two characters are not there, then I know something's up. My son still lives with his dad, so I don't worry as much about him as I, I as I do her. So these are yeah. I don't. I'm not one of these that thinks that all of our kids need RFID chips on them and stuff like that. There are very insignificant, small steps you can take just to um, make sure everything's all right. If those two characters at the end of the text message aren't there, then I know something's up. I know to call the police. She knows not to forget to put this on there because she knows her mom, and she knows her mom will call the police, and her mother will also call all of her surrounding neighbors. Um, I have, you know... Those people's telephone numbers, I have the police telephone number for where she lives. I have, you know, campus information and so forth right here on my phone. So, another little quick tip, um, just something that I have practiced for many years. It has worked well for us, and it could possibly work well for you, too. Thanks for watching.